Gamers, I got to tell you, I got my tires changed yesterday. It's very, this is very Vancouver-pilled, okay? Got my tires changed. They said it'll be about 90 minutes. Turns out that was a lie. It took about two and a half hours, but well, I'm not going to sweat that too much. Either way, I said, you know what? Maybe I'll get my ass a cheeky little sandwich while I wait. So I, I went for a little walk. It's a neighborhood that I'm, I'm unfamiliar with. Then I look up places to get a sandwich on my phone, and I see a place that was recommended to me by another daycare dad called La Grotto del Formaggio. I walk in, catch my ass getting in a long line at an at a old-school-style deli. I wait, uh, you know, five minutes. Trying to figure, every time you go to a new sandwich place, you're like, is this, do, am I supposed to know what's supposed to be on the sandwich in advance? Do I, I'll take a foot long cold cut combo on Italian herbs and cheese, please. I don't know what kind of toppings and breads you got. I don't know the ordering process. So I was like kibitzing on the people in front of me that were ordering. Then I got to the front and I said, how large is your large sandwich? And the lady held up a, a bread, like a bun, like a ciabatta, I would say. It was about the size of a, a regulation brick. Which doesn't, like, for a sandwich, when you're used to a foot-long sandwich, that seems reasonable. A, a brick-sized piece of bread sliced down the middle. You would not believe... Then she says, okay, what, do you, what kind of meat on it you, do you want on it? You can have up to two. I said, give me salami and mortadella. She said, what kind of vegetables do you want on it? And I looked at what appeared to be a, a 100 value comma separated list. 100 uh, length, I should say, uh, uh, an array. Let's just put it this way. We instantiated it at size 99. I said, give me everything but the, the pickled eggplant. Then she said, do you want me to put it on the grill? And I said, you know it. Four or five minutes for it to come off the grill. She handed me the sandwich. It's the single largest sandwich I've ever seen in my life. You know how Subway does sandwiches that are six inches long? This sandwich was six inches tall. It was unbelievable. I, I ate half of it, and I felt like a like a, a, a molten cannonball of pork inside of my stomach. And then I said, I'll save the other half. And then I got bored, and I ate the other half. That was at like 1.30 p.m., 2 p.m. yesterday. I uh, ate a very small dinner, went to bed, woke up, ate a very small breakfast, and am still not hungry. La Grotto del Formaggio, highly recommended. That being said, I will say... The large sandwich was $15.99. Listen, here's what I'll say. Even by Vancouver's standards, that is a pricey sandwich, but it's like 30% more expensive than what I would say the average Vancouver sandwich is and like a doubling in terms of the food. And I mean, versus Subway, don't even get me started on the quality of the ingredients. Fresh baked bread, meat that they, I don't know if they just slice it there, but they slice the meat right in front of you. It's not sitting there in a hopper with like, you know, tissue paper on top of it. Artichoke hearts, roasted red peppers in the oil. They put some balsamic on it. They put some uh, fresh olive oil on it. They put a little pesto on it. They put some Dijon mustard on it. They got olives. They got pickles. They got hot peppers. They got, yeah, they got you. They got me. They got, yeah. Also, the, only two slices of tomato. But the freshest tomato I've ever... This was not a tomato where, like, you bite into it and it's like... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it's grainy. You know what I mean? This was a tomato that was like... This... this Most tomatoes are vegetables. This tomato is a fruit. Now, I understand that most... Uh, literally, all tomatoes are fruits. But, you know, most tomatoes, when you eat them, they taste like a vegetable. This one tasted like a fruit. Meaty? I wasn't meaty, though. It was like... I don't even know. It was like biting into an orange. Must have needed a good Dennis Morton classic rock ride to burn that off. Um, listen, I'm not going to say that I got um, 191 watt average 45 minute Dennis Morton rock ride this morning. I'm not going to say that the baby was dropped off on time. I'm not going to say that I was only two minutes late, which is pretty much like on time for me these days. I'm feeling good. Was the tomato orange in hue? No, it was, it was a deep red, man. Like a deep red. I'm trying to think of what it would even compare to. I can't think of, of how much more deep red could it be? Like none more red. Yeah, it, it was like, it was close to blood red. Exactly. Like a, like a ruby in the board game Splendor. Sure, why not? It was as red as a really red tomato. Hey, NL, I work for Peloton in the EU. I tune into this to escape. Okay, well, honestly, no disrespect, but if you work for Peloton, shouldn't you just be thankful um, that you still have a job? Because, 
not to be like insanely rude, but they, they laid off like like sixty five percent of their staff this year, right? The stock price is down like ninety two percent. Everybody's out here saying, why would you pay two thousand dollars, then sixty dollars on top of that every month just to use it? And I'm like uh, the only person that's like, it's good, guys, it's good. So honestly, you should say like, you know, thank you to me a little bit. Or at least, like, not complain. I guess I don't need you to say, like, I'm a hero or whatever, but you shouldn't be out here, like, complaining. 10% of your streams are just the overlay screen. You're living the dream. I actually take that as very flattering because that means you've never watched another streamer. I actually have the smallest, like, narcissistic, self-indulgent opening to any stream that you'll see. I've been live for 12 minutes. I've not played a montage of my old funniest clips cherry-picked to make you think that I'm that funny all the time. I haven't started by... Um, you know, talking about, well, I guess I've often, I did start by talking about like what hobby I've been into lately, but at least it was not 90 minutes long. Like most people do. It was only like six minutes and then everybody says who asked and I'm like, let's move on. <laughs> That's not a knock on anybody. I'm just defending myself. But yes, if you see a tweet from Malf that says stream starting soon, and then you see that the timestamp is two hours ago, it's all right. You didn't miss any gameplay. And now, listen, people are there for the, the just chatting segment as well, you know? They're, they're there for the parasocial, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. <laughs> Boom, roasted. Malv actually reads his chat the whole time? Yeah, I read my chat the whole time too if every message was about how I like changed your life instead of just telling me to give me another chore to do. Every message in Malf's chat is like, Malf and chat, I just want you to know I had a good chicken Caesar wrap. And I'm like, that's not what my chat dynamic is like at all. Everybody's like, what are you get? What are you grow four inches of your height, manlet? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Because it probably requires like surgery, which means it's impossible for me to get right now because the British Columbia health system is completely collapsing due to, you know, uh, brain drain and they won't give nurses raises and uh the whole uh you know the covid and then rsv now there's influenza type b and influenza type a my sister-in-law was telling me a kid the uh, like a family friend's kid got influenza type a i didn't know that it was a thing one of the symptoms you you lose the ability to walk temporarily they made golf into a video game i know man i know NL, can you please disable the Cult of the Lamb extension? This is this is what some people's chat experience is like. NL, when are you gonna play the devil in me? Did you buy a new SSD? Please make a playlist for West of Loathing. Are you gonna uninstall this extension? Just like come to me with admin work like 24-7. Just in, just enjoy your life. Don't labor under the delusion that there's a set amount of work to do. And when you finish that work, that's the time when you can actually have fun. You gotta have fun at all the moments because the work never ends. As soon as you finish the work, more work appears. It's, it's a garden. I had background music to slice and dice. Hey, NL. Hey, NL. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. You don't know who I am, but if you do these 10 things for me, I can finally be happy. Why are you limiting my happiness? Do you see how fucked up this is? Take some responsibility for yourself. Go eat like a salami sandwich or something, then come back. You need you need like a full belly, at least six and a half hours of sleep a night or something. Drink some water. You know, I'm not Adam Smith. I didn't invent economics. Just just relax. Like quest giving NPCs. You know what? It's a great metaphor. I didn't say it. Someone else said it. Okay. Now this this is a, a mighty tempting first stroke onto the green. Can you get this pro tip off the screen so I can see if it's a higher elevation? It's like not a higher elevation, okay? So I'm gonna put it right around here. And if I could hit it just short of four, that would be good, but I would accept four and then take my approach. That's beautiful. Oh, nice. uh, that's exactly what I wanna do. Let's see if we had the, if we had the sauce mentally speaking. Um, nice. Possibly the greatest shot of all time. It's so windy, the damn green is windy. And a slight bend. A slight bend. A slight bend. How did someone double bogey is my second shot. Ooh, okay, all right. 
I'll take it. I'll take it. There's more bend than that. And then just tap it in. Not mad about a par. Not mad about a par. Are you seeing the people we're going up against? Triple bogey. Double bogey. Take your par. Take the positives. I honestly think... Well, I thought we were playing against bots until I saw Davuten, which I think is a name they would probably not give to a bot. I think he's going to time out, man. I don't think he's got the time. He's obviously not a child. His name is Father. Holy cow. He actually doesn't know how to play. Let him cook. Why did you let him cook? You know what I think? I, I'm buying low on a meme. It's not, I'm not buying at zero. I'm buying low on a meme, okay? The meme of the next two weeks is going to be never bet against James Cameron. I feel like I just saw the uptick now that the Avatar 2 reviews have, or not reviews, but like the, uh, the, fan press reactions from the premiere have started to come out. I saw like 17 tweets that were like, never bet against James Cameron. James, people who bet against James Cameron stay losing. I'm telling you, it's, it, right now you don't see it. By the time you see it, it will be too late to buy low. Never bet against James Cameron is coming back. Guillermo del Toro said it feels like a movie movie. I just, listen, I haven't seen Avatar 1 even. But why is every review of Avatar 2 so far, like, just the director's name, plus the fish looks so realistic, followed by something that's like, the story's not that good, but you gotta see it. It just, it, it, something about it, it just seems a little sus to me. I'm just gonna say it. I was watching Chib play this yesterday and lost my mind. The man does not take practice shots. Like, he just, he sends it 100% of the time while, like, beatboxing over uh, the, the Wii shop music. He, he, doesn't, he, he doesn't respect the sanctity of golf, that's what I'll say. I, I just, honestly, I feel like we're not making it betwixt the trees, but I'm going to try. It's damn headphones, man. That's horrendous. These headphones, dude! Nice shot. That's all right, I'll take it. That one goes out to Mr. Sennheiser. Between the pines? Okay, you're never gonna see another shot like that from me or from anybody. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, it's all right, the wind will help me. You could bend it, but I don't have that kind of self-confidence right now. I feel like we wanna go like 88%. More than that. That's perfect. Nice. That's... No, the tree! Oh no. <laughs> this, is, this one's tough. I, look, we gotta, we gotta go for broke. We gotta take a riskier shot. I'm gonna try to manually hit hit the two piece here. Not even close. Not even close. Way too hard. Perfect. Please. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm, I'm. We got to do it again. Perfect. <clears throat> Sorry, just qualifying. 38 seconds. I should have just put myself on the green, man. Look, you can make this putt. Limit reached. Fuck you. Please, just just qualify. Just qualify. Tell me nobody beat par on that one. We have one par, two limits reached. 
I'm not in a position to qualify right now. I got to make up two points or okay. Well, you you just you got to go for broke right here. You just got to go for broke. It's that simple. And you know what? A lot of people are going to land in the drink here. I'm just going to hope that I'm not one of them. What's the point in qualifying if you're that far behind? You kind of, kind of motherfucker gets like eight out of ten on the first pop quiz and then says, I, uh, you, you know how I said I was going to get a uh, study this year? Nah, I'm just going to be a, a 2.8 GPA student. You got to try to recover. You know, you're going to live anyway. You might as well work. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Dip low, dip low, swing low, sweet chariot coming forth to carry me on. Okay, I'm on the green. I'm on the green. Would have been nice to be a little lower, though. On the power, that is. We gotta shoot it like this. Put me right there. <laughs> Too much. I want a two piece suit. Oh, it's too much power. It's too much power. It's a tough putt. It's, it's a nasty green, no doubt about that. I'm a little disappointed in myself, though. All we can do is our best. Every shot is its own beast. Okay, tap her in. Tap her in. It's a, it's a nasty, uh, n another nasty performance. You know what? Still just getting warmed up. Bogey plus one. We, it's mathematically impossible for us. No, wait. That's five points. It's mathematically possible for us to make it into the next round. We qualified. <laughs> All right, we're 12 points down, but we still we still got breath in our lungs. I mean, we're set for par, but our opponents both got on the green. But they have to wait 90 seconds for me to finish, so who's the real loser? Yeah, it's, you're right, it's me, it's me. Less? That's probably good. That's That's okay. I can live with this. I'm playing for me now. I'm playing for me. Birdie, huh? But that feels nice. There we go. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Listen. What do you get if you come third in the Masters? That's still got to be like a seven-figure payday, right? 20 mil? That's pretty good. <laughs> they both got birdies? If it's... Oh, that's the end. I, I forgot. It's not a two-hole Marty. It's not 20 mil? Hey, Siri, what do you get if you come third in the Masters? Siri, what's the prize money for coming third place in the Masters? He switched to Siri? No, that's why I said, hey, Siri, because I didn't want to trigger any of my own devices. I only wanted to trigger yours and annoy you. Bixby doesn't even really work for me anymore. Also, I think I'm too sweaty for smartphones. Uh, I use, like, fingerprint unlock. Every time... Oh, it's, it's the damn squad. Every time I uh, open my phone, it says, there have been 20 attempts to unlock this. Please enter your PIN instead. And I know what's happening is that the screen in my pocket is like getting triggered by my leg. So like the whole, I'm like, why, I haven't even used my phone. Why is the battery life down like 10%? And then I realized it's because the screen's been on for like eight hours with my damn thigh hair trying to unlock the phone. Put it in your pocket the other way. Then everyone would see that I got my flashlight on 24 seven. My iPhone doesn't do that. It's, it's okay, you can just have a phone. It doesn't have to be like your whole personality. I, you know what? It, it's hard to modulate your power because you, you got to do it with your, your muscles and your tendons. I would accept that as a good first shot. 
Is it a par three? It is. I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is like an actually makeable birdie. We just gotta. Oh, you want me to putt? Okay. Okay. Let me get like a two piece because we're starting on the fringe. Need a little more sauce, Jarvis. Oh! <laughs> Woo! Not a hard putt, honestly. Not a hard putt, but still, we'll take those. I know that Joe, VIP Daniel are like, what the hell? I just watched this dude choke like so badly, and now he gets a birdie when we're playing. Well, what can I say? I elevate my game to the level of competition. James, why are you looking like you're from uh, Xenoblade? Sorry, Xeno Gears. That's the one. Xenoblade is the new one. Why are you looking like you're from Xeno Gears? What's the name of the, the hot robot from Xeno Gears? You know what I'm talking about. I mean, Xeno Saga. Yeah, sorry. Xeno Gears is the early one. I'm talking about Xeno Saga. Xeno, Xeno Saga Episode 1 also sprock Zarathustra. Cosmos! That's her name. I'm sure I've told this story before. Uh, I borrowed, I, well, I, I think me and my friend did a PS2 game swap. I let him borrow FIFA World Cup 2002. He let me borrow Xeno Saga Episode 1, also Sprack Zarathustra. Like two weeks later, we stopped being friends. I still got that game somewhere in my collection. Is that, is that worth any money? That, see, that seems like it could be a rare game. Is it as rare as Suikoden 3? The third one is? Son of, I don't have the third one. Zeno Saga going from anywhere from 75 bucks to 200 USD. Holy cow. I'm going to say low end because it is not in good quality. <laughs> Can't you just emulate it? Yeah, but then you wouldn't have that sick box art. Nice oh! <laughs> now look, somebody got in front of me by like 10 yards. That's, oh no, 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 no. No! Really? I think being part of a country club would be pretty sick. Oh, it's a tight game, man. It's still a tight game. If you're part of a country club, do you still have to pay to golf? Or is that covered in your dues? That, like, you can golf once a week for free or something? We won! I, I didn't know it was over. I was getting ready for the, the finals. Usually it's covered, but you still got to pay dues. But dues are, like, they're much cheaper than the normie rate, right? Plus, you get to actually have, like, good tea times, like, 8 in the morning instead of, like, you know, 1.30 p.m. It's $3,200 a month for the club I work at. Holy bursh. <laughs> for, for the country club membership or for the dues on top of the country club membership? The dues, that's so, and then membership is 50K on top of that. So to be a card-carrying member of your country club is 80,000 USD a year. Never mind. I'm not that interested in becoming a member of a country club. <laughs> I've decided. I've decided that I will take up um, hiking instead. Boots are 300 bucks. That's not that bad. Comparatively, I can, I can handle that. <laughs> and what? The backpack might be another couple hundred to get a nice one. You have to pay for parking. Yeah, that's okay. That's not so bad. I can live. I'm used to that. It's so fucked up to drive in Vancouver now. I'm happy to pay for parking because it means that there wasn't 17 spots that said temporary no... I, I, I had a sign I tried to park today while dropping my daughter off at daycare. It said temporary no parking January to December, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Explain this to me. That's permanent no parking. All you're doing is telling me when the parking agents go off shift, so they're not going to be around to give me a damn ticket. Also, I don't know if, again, this is a little too Vancouver-pilled. They're building this, the, the new SkyTrain line on Broadway, right? Based, based, based. I was driving on Broadway on the weekend because it was the only way to get my baby to take a nap. Just trying to do, like, loops, okay? Doing some loops around. Somehow found myself on West Broadway trying to figure out how the hell to get off of it because it's nonstop construction. Ten blocks in a row, you cannot turn left and you can't turn right. It's, I, I couldn't get off of the road fast enough. 
There's a sign that says no left turn because the road is busy. And then a sign that says no right turn because all the side streets are closed because they're doing construction. What if my damn destination is not straight ahead? I got nothing to do. But then I also realize that, and I've, I've naively, five years ago, if shit sucked while driving, I was like, they got to fix this. Now, every time shit sucks when I'm driving, I'm like, I get it. They're trying to, they got us in the, in the submission hold right now. And they're like, stop driving, you bitch. Stop fucking driving. We're going to make this shit miserable until you give up. Are you selling your car yet? Are you selling your car? And I'm like, I can't. I got, I got shit to do that's not on the SkyTrain line. I got to have a car seat. Okay, you motherfucker. Okay, you fucking asshole. We're going to, uh, you can't, local traffic only. Uh, this one's only for bikes. Uh, electric scooters on the road. Uh. So I get it. I understand that it's like, Overall, it's a good thing. Are you going to become one of those dads who has a car seat on the back of their cargo bike? No, I honestly, um, I don't mind biking on the bike paths in Vancouver. In fact, I would say I like biking on the bike paths. I tolerate biking on the road in the bike lanes as long as I know where I'm going. Because... Uh, it's like 50-50. Drivers don't pay attention, for one. Then also, like, half of the cyclists don't know what they're doing. You're getting buzzed by electric scooter, like, Uber Eats drivers. And then half of the cyclists treat every road uh, as if it's, like, the Tour de France. And you're like, brother, I'm just trying to cross, like, Jarvis and Drake right now. I'm just trying to get home without dying. Some dude in full Lance Armstrong drip in the middle of his commute is like... <laughs> So I, I don't feel comfortable biking with my baby on the back of my bike. Because, like, I could fall, for one, but also I could get hit. And, like, if I die, whatever. But she's the heir to the damn throne. Ooh. <laughs> slow me down. Slow me. Slow me. Slow me. Beautiful. It's, couldn't, have, couldn't have placed it from a helicopter any better than that. Oops, wrong button. Okay, this is, it's uphill, and the wind is at our back. I think if you send it, though, if you go full power, you can make this. But I'm watching that shot. I think they made it. <laughs> Beauty. Nice shot. That's, that's the way we drew it up, at least. That's perfect. That is actually like the most perfect shot I've ever made, considering it's a par five. Nice song. Chance for a damn eagle. Dude, that, that's pretty straight up and down. <laughs> that's why we practice. Like to be around a two piece. Good insurance heading into the finals, man. Oh. <laughs> Sheesh. I don't think we're going in the drink. I think the wind is going to help. I think the elevation is going to help. I think this is just fine. I'm trusting Mother Nature. Ooh. <laughs> I'm turning my wrist. Hello. Hello. I'm playing Switch Sports Golf. Let me take a look at this one. I gotta, just gotta take a look at it. We need, we need a wedge. I'd like to land it around one. My wedge game's not too strong. That is way too strong. That's perfect. I chose not to think about it, and that was the right decision. <laughs> right in there. We were right in there. And then just tap her in. Okay, solid par, solid par. Oh, it's the finals too. 
And we're, I just won. I just won the world championship of Switch Sports Golf. Yo, let's go. Bogey? That's not going to do it. There were some great shots in this oh, round, too. Okay. Holy cow. This man is dialed. <laughs> great shirt, by the way. Thanks, my wife got it for me. So true. So true. How you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Everything's good? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, first 40 points. <laughs> Dude, that, that eagle in the semis. Certified pro? Oh, no. <laughs> That's terrible news. Is toe walking helping you cycle? Um, I think it's like, listen, toe walking is actually, it's led to me having overdeveloped calves for sure. But the thing is, there must, in, in addition to the overdeveloped calves, that must mean that there was like an underdeveloped uh, something. And I think that my hammies are underdeveloped. So I think that it, it isn't actually like a huge advantage in cycling. Like cycling is good for your calves. You use your calves in it, but your hammies are a way bigger driver of power. So quads are more important too, but, but the hammies are more important than the calves. But either way, it got me there. I also like if you are, uh, if you're a toe walker and you're like, um, I always get shin splints when I run, that is the... That's the problem with, with having overdeveloped calves as well. When your calves are overdeveloped relative to your hammies, uh, after you finish like a 60 minute run, it feels like your calf muscle is squeezing your shin bone so hard that it's actually just gonna shatter. I'll take it, I'll take, I'll take my part. I think it's definitely a very birdieable whore. Excuse me? <laughs> birdieable hole. Huh? I remember I, I was playing Magic the Gathering with my uncle when I was like 10. Wow, that was good enough for tied for first. Uh, and I kept saying, like, I'm going to play this card. It was called a horror. And he kept going, what? And I was like, I'm going to tap like four swamps and play horror. And he's like, what? And then I eventually played the card and he was like, oh, I get it now. Good pivot, thank you. It's a true story, though. I just got, listen, lasagna lover, I, you're probably gonna love that I'm doing this. I'm looking at your messages here. I'm screen capping them. I'm sending them to Atrioc. I'm sorry to do this. I'm just, I'm print screening this right now. What about Atrioc? Lull, lull, do it. Hey, looking forward to the Atrioc collab this week. NL, where's Atrioc? Nice Sennheisers. Is this Atrioc? Atrioc would have made that shot. Okay, but Atrioc, though, don't forget about Atrioc. Yeah, anyway, what about Atrioc, though? Atrioc wouldn't make such a mistake. OMG, lol. Is Atrioc still coming over today? Aware, but also Atrioc. Okay, anyway, what about Atrioc? NL, is Atrioc still this week? I'm running out of copium. It just is, it's, that's, from the last 45 minutes, it's, it's crazy. It's clinical insanity. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta take a screenshot, send it to Atrioc in a DM and say, do you claim this one? I'm, I'm gonna let your idol choose your, your fate, okay? Ban from both channels if he says no. I don't need to ban him, he's a subscriber. Atrioc could do what he wants, though. <laughs> I was like, man, why? And then, don't get me wrong, we need to schedule this still. But I was like, man, everyone's spamming chat about this Atrioc thing. Like, is he telling people to come over here and, and type it in chat? They realize it's just like, it's one dude! It's just one dude. Okay, while we're here, while I'm sitting down, while I'm waiting for Manu OG Kush to, to sink this. Holy cow. Oh, that was a great putt, honestly. But um, you think it's possible a Caesar salad is the best food of all time? I've been like redoing my rankings because I've always said like people ask you, what's your favorite food? I say, I don't know. Chicken strips. What's your favorite food? I don't know. Great pizza. I really feel like the, the way I could choose my favorite food is like if I sat down at a restaurant with like a hundred things on the menu, what would I choose? I think there's a damn good chance I would take a, a Caesar salad and I would pay the upcharge to add it like a chicken breast to it. It might, it might be my number one, man. Some kind of sandwich might be up there as well. This would be an insane chip, please. This is a part three? It's not even possible.
Can you get off of my screen? Okay, I mean, we need... This needs to be a, a two. A two plus, maybe. Good. Oh, it didn't kick. It didn't kick. It didn't kick the way I needed it to kick. Good putt, though. I mean, we're probably not going to win. Oh, no! No! I did it to myself. The leader bogeyed. No, no. She hasn't even, she's not even on the green yet. She's not even on the green yet. This is probably your fifth shot. She's like, I know I need to chip it. I know I need to chip it. She's putting. That was a great putt. What was that? Par! <laughs> no, wait, that's okay, because even if it was on par, we still would have lost. I'm just hoping that it wasn't that one mistake that cost me. Yeah, we still would have lost on par. That's okay then. It's not we made a mistake. It's nice to know the mistake was not necessarily transformative. Who does number two work for? Yeah, buddy, you show that turd who's boss. Allow myself to introduce myself. It's all in the damn hips. Let's go. Nice I am banned in Hassan's chat. My brother, I see what you post in here, and that is some of the least surprising news I've one of the least surprising things I've ever seen you post. Let's put it that way. <laughs> no audit required. The audit is being appended to every every time I read you what you're writing. <laughs> no, I'm not banned in Hassan's chat. I don't know, I'm probably banned in like some people's chat. I can't imagine why. Maybe they're just like, I don't like this guy. Preemptive ban. Because I'm not much of a chatter. Oh, I got banned in the Denny's chat once. They were doing like a... Uh, Denny's was hosting like an esports event. People were playing like Centipede against each other. And I was just typing in all chat like, Go person's name or something. Go! Go person's name! And then they banned my ass. I thought it was a little over the top. But that was like eight years ago. It might, they might have cleared it out by now. It might be on Amnesty now. Oh! <laughs> that was for the championship. This is for damn par, man. This, this is to lose, but not by that much. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> okay. Honestly, given the wins, I'll take my single bogey. You won? Everyone else did bad? I don't know, man. Let's see. Wait a minute. We won. <laughs> oh, baby! That last hole was a doozy. My points. Dude, we got a pretty good win rate in Switch Golf. I kind of started today being extreme detritus, but we got there. Yeah, I'm trash, but like not as trash as the other people I'm ranked with right now, at least. Ooh. I gotta earn all the stuff from the collections that I didn't play before. Oh, dude, I want the driver! We gotta earn this golf collection. It's probably getting deprecated soon. The hell? Sports glasses white? Derogatory? <laughs> okay, slash marker me. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. End of Switch Sports Golf. I'll be right back. See you in two minutes.
You know how I'm fucked up it is? My viewer count went up by 300 while I was in the damn bathroom. Nothing on stream will ever be as good as not knowing what's going to be streamed next. Like, if he's streaming Slice and Dice, oh, I'm not sure I'm that into it. But if he's not streaming anything yet, dude, it could be anything. It could be Slice and Dice. It's like the Zero with Chip. Exactly! It is like the Zero with Chip. No, it's going to be Slice and Dice. For a bit, anyway. I got to give the, the lore haters a break from Midnight Suns for a bit. Like, for a day. But I did move it to my, my SSD last night. Which means it should actually start to run not, like, horrendously. Did, it, did you confirm it kept your save file? No, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that Steam ironed out all those kinks. And if it does not have my save file, we'll just simply never play it again. <laughs> it's like the start of an exercise routine, you know? When you've been exercising every day for six months, you'll jump through some hoops to exercise. When it's like January 3rd, you're driving up to Planet Fitness, they don't have a parking spot up front, you're like, fuck that, maybe tomorrow. How come God of War gets so much hate from you while Marvel Midnight Suns gets a pass? Um, listen, I've been reconciling with that myself. It, uh, it doesn't get a pass. It gets mocked a lot. But I like... Tactics-based gameplay more than, I guess, God of War stuff. Listen, they're good, because I'm a hypocrite, okay? Anyway, we're playing Slice and Dice. We're on hard mode. Anyway, would love to know your thoughts on um, whether or not a Caesar salad is the best food of all time. It's definitely, like, my number one when I go to a, a restaurant and the menu's not that inspiring. I'm like, just give me a Caesar salad and I'll take a chicken breast on top of it. Like, if you're at a bad hotel restaurant, the Caesar salad is still going to be pretty good. Or a club sandwich. Nothing against a, a, a club uh, sandwich. Wouldn't want to suggest I got something against it. Why the heck is my Caesar salad taking so long? Are you, are you getting the recipe in a time machine from Julius himself? In Canada, what's included in a default Caesar salad? In the U.S., sometimes it has a chicken in it by... Not a chicken, sorry. That's me misreading. It has chicken in it by default. It, I would say romaine lettuce... Croutons, bacon, Caesar dressing, and a, a hard Italian cheese, either a Parmesan or maybe a Pecorino. Yeah, I'd say bacon, bacon bits is often in it here. Maybe not every time, but like if it, if it showed up and it had bacon in it, I wouldn't be like, what's this doing here? I'd be like, you know, pog me up, brother. Green olives, hold it. We, we don't, I, I don't think I've ever seen a Caesar salad with olives here, at least not by default. Thoughts on green goddess dressing? I feel like it appeared overnight, and now I have no idea. Like, I never asked what it was, and now I'm too afraid to order something with green goddess dressing. I used to get a, a juice sometimes at, like, a smoothie place that was called Green Goddess. And then they started coming out with the green goddess uh, dressing and sauce, and I'm like, I don't even know what this is. It's Caesar, but no parm, but lots of herbs. I like that. I could be into that. Now they got it at Subway. But I don't have to go to Subway anymore because I'll just go to La Grata del Formaggio. Anyone Vancouver posting? Anyone out here going to La Grata del Formaggio or just me? What a, I like the vulnerability joke in your recent S&D video. Thank you. Let's not call it an S&D video, though. I think people might get the wrong idea. Also, I had a great joke, but I can't make it work. So please feel free to take this and make it yourself. I hope it doesn't bomb like the Three Stooges crowd reaction. The <laughs> theater like, oh reaction. Oh my God. Dude, can you <laughs> imagine? I, someone should edit my theater reaction when Curly blocked Moe's eye poke. Oh, that would be a great video, man. <laughs> By the way, is it that hard to make a reaction for for the Three Stooges doing the boop? The theater reaction video is not manifest. I would have thought it was easy, man. I I cyber bullied the Library of Letourneau into making the Three Stooges crowd reaction. It got like forty likes on Twitter. Not my finest moment. Either way, I laughed. Oh, are we set? The guy said he was going to give us the business. He did, but you can't wait this time. 
But so here's the joke. And it's going to be like the, the title of the joke is me when a bag of chips says it's family size. And then it's going to be an edited version of the Nutty Professor 2 trailer where it goes like Eddie Murphy is Sherman Clump. Eddie Murphy is Grandpa Clump. Eddie Murphy is Grandma Clump. Eddie Murphy is Hercules Clump. Eddie Murphy is Mama Clump. Eddie Murphy is Daddy Clump. And Eddie Murphy is Buddy Love. I think that joke could go insane. Hercules, Hercules. This is the, the I'm scared because this is the most plus twos I've ever gotten in my life. And introducing Eddie Murphy. Anyway, I don't get it. Well, the thing is when a chip says it's when a bag of potato chips says it's family size and then you eat it yourself, you're your whole family. Just like Eddie Murphy was in, uh, in The Nutty Professor 1 and 2. But in 2 is really when he went like to the next level. In 1, he plays like four people. In 2, he plays like... He's like the whole damn cast. Are you the guy that un unironically likes Norbit or is that someone else? That, you're thinking of Brian Wilson the creative force behind the Beach Boys. I am the guy who ironically kind of likes Norbit, but only because I genuinely think that like turkey ass is an amazing joke. It, it's the lone bright spot in an otherwise dire film. Well, there's two turkey ass jokes, spoilers, but why is relatability funny? It's an interesting question, you know, because like, um, you know, it, it, you can drive yourself crazy thinking of like, what is humor? You know, humor, it seems to be if, if you want to get into it. But who, who, who asked, by the way? But um, it, it's sort of like just recognizing something, but also recognizing that something about it has changed or is being applied to a new situation. Like, what's the funniest thing on the Internet for the average person taking like a, a still from a movie? that has a quote and applying it to a new context. Like when you see someone you disagree with posting on Twitter, you post Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 2 saying, there's no sign of intelligent life anywhere. So that's like, that's one element of it. And I don't know, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> that's Toy Story 1? Shut up, dummy. You think I haven't been watching that shit like nonstop over the last month and a half? That's Toy Story 2. At the start of the movie, there's like a Buzz Lightyear's flying a ship trying to get to Zerg, the, the evil Zerg, and then his ship goes down, and then he says there's no sign of intelligent life anywhere. It's not in the first movie. The first movie is all about him like coming to terms with the fact that he's, he's a toy. He says it at the very beginning in the room. Okay, maybe he says it in both movies then, okay? Because in the second one, he definitely says it on an alien planet. He might also say it in Toy Story 1, though. It, it, in addition to, not instead of. Maybe I didn't realize the second one was a reference, and for that I apologize. Eddie Murphy is Buzz Lightyear. And introducing... What's the... What's the Jack Black movie from Tropic Thunder? The fake movie that lampoons the... Nutty Professor 2? Is it the fatties? Jack... Yeah, the fatties. <laughs> so, and they're all just farting nonstop. Oh, what a movie! What a what a what a what a piece of cinema! I hated that. What do you do? You hated the fake trailers. You hated Satan's Alley, featuring five-time Academy Award winner Kirk Lazarus and MTV Best Kiss winner Tobey Maguire. No, just the farting one. Okay, well, fair enough. Tropic Thunder is is a great movie. We talk about it a lot, but it's it's one of the. It's a. A top 10 comedy of the 2000s, for sure. Watching Tropic Thunder as an adult was disappointing. The thing is, Tropic Thunder is still good, because I was an adult when I saw it for the first time, because I'm old, older than you, at least. But, like, it'll never match up. Nothing will ever be as funny as the funniest thing you saw when you were, like, 13. You just, it, it, that's like, being 13 is like a humor amplifier. Like, there, nothing is ever going to come close. That's why, like, Austin Powers 2 is so imprinted on me. I was too young to see it. I had to beg my parents. They made me leave the theater during the part where Jack Black was tied to a tree begging for cocaine. Does, this is like, <laughs> that is after the first act where Steve Coogan explodes from stepping on a landmine. They saw a, a man blow up and they said that's no problem and then jack black going i need my i need my jelly beans 
Fun fact, Ben Stiller wrote Tropic Thunder when he was 17. That can't be... I think you're thinking of like Seth Rogen and Superbad? Because there's no way that... I mean, he was like at least in his early 40s when the movie came out. You tell me he sat on it for 25 years? He mean, he wrote the, the, the booty sweat joke before energy drinks even existed? It doesn't make sense. I'm so super bad pilled, you wouldn't even believe it. The fact that super bad was written by like two 15 year olds is so it's it's like the Bo Burnham inside thing all over again for me where I'm like that just makes me mad I'm like what do you mean it was written by like two 11th graders I'm more Ricky Bobby pilled listen you don't want any part of this conversation okay because like if you're if you if you mention a classic comedy like Tropic Thunder or Superbad and then in the same breath you're talking about Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby, The Bout of Tal Talladega Nights is a fine movie. It's a, it's an acceptable Will Ferrell comedy. It's, it's probably in the top quartile of Will Ferrell comedies. But to compare it to sublime, you know, generational level comedy, come on, man. Where does Walk Hard fall? Like, way higher than uh, Anchorman, that's for sure. I don't mind Will Ferrell, even though I did say you could not make a movie I want to watch less than Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds in a Christmas movie available exclusively on Apple TV. Do the pose? Okay. This would be Ryan Reynolds, because I've seen it a thousand times on the poster. And this one's Will Ferrell. He's like that. Not they're dancing, they're not fighting. I'm just trying to get it all to fit in the frame. Where does Naked Gun rank? Naked Gun is is probably in a in a group of 20 comedies where if someone said it was their favorite comedy of all time, I would have no notes. It probably wouldn't be my number one of all time, but it's definitely unassailable in the sense that I, I couldn't be mad at someone for saying that was their number one. I like it more than Airplane. Airplane is still... It's a great movie as well. Don't get me wrong. Please don't describe me as a big OJ guy. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite's one of my top three movies ever. Listen, okay? that <laughs> That's your list and that's fine. Napoleon... I like the... I own it on DVD. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Would it be part of that list for me? No. It, it wouldn't. And that's... It's fine. I still think it's funny, you know, do the chickens have large talents? That's like a dollar an hour. Are you drinking 2% milk? Cause, are you drinking skim milk because you think you're fat? Because you're not fat. You could be drinking whole milk if you wanted to. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar only agreed to do Airplane because he wanted to get a $30,000 carpet, but he couldn't justify buying it, and it, the salary for Airplane was 30000 That's, you know, <laughs> it's a happy little accident, I suppose. <laughs> $30,000 carpet in 1982, like, holy cow. I, mean, I get that he's, like, you know, one of the best basketball players of all time. I don't, we don't need to get into the discussion, is he the best, okay? Like, because I don't know. I simply don't know the answer. I don't know enough about basketball. Rescue Me, kind of an ass show, by the way. I, this is just one man's opinion. I'm not saying he's a bad person. I'm not saying you're a bad person if you like him. But I think I do hate Dennis Leary's body of work. I would say that it fits in Demolition Man, because he's basically playing himself. Everything else, though, I, I, listen, I, 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 no, we can roll Weaver if we have to. But you don't hate Robert Downey Jr. for doing blackface? You, do, you gotta evaluate Tropic Thunder within the conditions that it, it, it's a satire. It's not Robert Downey Jr. in blackface. It's Robert Downey Jr. playing a guy who's such a narcissist with no self-awareness that he thinks it's okay to do blackface. That's the, it's, the joke is baked that it's not okay to do is baked into the premise to begin with. Now do Justin Trudeau. No, that one is just like... He just shouldn't have done that. That's a given. <laughs> And he shouldn't have done it the second time, either, <laughs> or the third, I guess. But Maiko's pretty good. Should have got that insured Maiko for your money. No, so it's a Kanye quote. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a hot 60 seconds here. Anyway.
You, you do not under any circumstances have to separate the art from the artist. <laughs> How do you feel about Soul Man? Is that the movie where Bill Cosby plays a ghost? Are you trying to get me killed, man? No, that's Ghost Dad. What's Soul Man? Somebody's a ghost in Soul Man, right? Like, is it Dan Aykroyd? Oh, no. It's about a white guy who does blackface to get into college. Let's, let's, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> we were having a good run, man. All right. That was nasty. Try cursed mode. No, we just got our ass beat on hard. Curse mode is easier. Then it's an, it's an even bigger insult then. Try generate once. Listen, one thing you need to know about me, I, the more, and it's a bad habit, but the, when you have a thousand people telling you to jump off a bridge, I'm the kind of guy that's like, no, I like to stay alive. I also am the kind of guy where, you know, if, if I had listened to chat, I would have done 10 runs in a row on the basement seed when Rebirth came out, and then I would have been so sick of Isaac, I never would have played it again in my life. Everybody wants the, the Zane. Oh, you can do the Zany mode. You could put on shutter sunglasses. You could do psychedelic mode. Your screen gets all wavy. I like to operate within a, a box and then bounce my own Zane off the confines of the box. Rather than have the game be like, every spell, you don't even know what it is because it's random. That being said, I don't even know what generate is. All heroes are randomly generated. Okay, actually, that sounds like it could be fun. Okay, we could try generate. Why not? Oh, no, it's zany. So it's... I don't get it. <laughs> I gotta take G2. Also known as the license you get in Ontario for driving before you get your full license. It's not a full license, but it's very close. Thinking back, the G2 is really funny. One of the restrictions on you if you have a G2 is that your blood alcohol level has to be at 0 .00 when you're driving. When you get your full license, the Ontario government says, it's okay to drive like a little drunk. You could, <laughs> you could be... <laughs> I don't know, the limit used to be like 0 0.08. I think it might be 0 0.05 now. We do 0 0.02. 0 0.02 is, and, and I don't mean this in like a negative way necessarily, but I feel like 0 0.02 is kind of crazy because that's like, it might as well be zero. I don't think I would feel comfortable driving home if I had even smelled a beer, but I'm sure that's what they want, which makes perfect sense. Why are they always giving out samples in the liquor store? Um, well, it, I, it's because they want you to, like, sample the product and then buy it. And I guess, like, if you walked to the liquor store, you would be like, Pog, something I'm here to buy anyway. But yeah, if you're driving, you probably... My personal advice is you shouldn't take them up on the offer. We don't walk anywhere here? Oh, okay, sure, fair enough. It's <laughs> a good point. Are you high? No. Never. Rarely. Show me your pupils. They're on the damn screen. This would be great if I had a... Like I could zoom in on my eyes. I could draw with a magic marker. What's your opinion on Tim Hortons? Am I being farmed for, for content right now? I'm, uh, I'm extremely anti-Tim Hortons. I think the food is bad. I think that the, the coffee is not good. I think that the, the messaging that they take that is like you're only truly Canadian if you eat at Tim Hortons is, uh, is asinine. Tim Hortons is genuinely like a, a restaurant that I only eat at if someone I love has been in the hospital. And like it's the only restaurant open that late. And then you want to join them? You know what? That's a plus two. I'll give you a plus two on that one. I will take another door head ant. I, I just don't like saying the word door head, but it feels like saying head ass to me, which I'm not sure if I'm comfortable saying. You do look like a head ass. People say that to me all the time, even on the street. I don't know what it means. Old bald head, head, head ass. I don't think you can just say <laughs> head ass over and over again like that. I think there's got to be like a... A connection to it somewhere? It's gotta be a reference. What is what is what is looking head ass? 
Was that when the people on the Pittsburgh Steelers subreddit were like, I can't wait till this NL looking head ass is off the team? Is he off the team, by the way? I don't know. <laughs> I don't follow the NFL. No, I don't listen to any sports radio. So I feel like anytime I see someone on Twitter, like issue a death threat to someone else, I click on their profile to see what led them to this fate. And it's, it's a combination of like sports gambling and then following like 12 different sports podcasts. It's always like, well, if you don't like it, you should just go die. And then you click on their Twitter profile and it's like, barstool, 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 barstool. Joe Biden, gas prices, head ass, motherfucker, barstool, barstool. Then a tweet that's like, I don't understand why everyone can't just be nice to each other. Fuck you, I hate you, sunglasses, rant in car. Student loan forgiveness makes me pissed off and shit myself. Anyway, sorry. It's open season on all head asses. That is damn true. It's an interesting team. It's a very unique team. I feel like this is a dog built. I feel like they're going to summon an enormous dog. And nothing else. I think that means we... I was going to say I think that means we win, but I don't know if that's the case. But I'm, I'm not feeling too bad about it. it can, max, max it can be is 50-50. That's not that big of a deal. See ya. Bro, don't. You can't die to my pigs, man. Not to the pigs. I don't know what to tell you. Every time I play the test build, I get a 10-piece. Even if I'm not paying attention in the slightest. The 10 piece, the 10 piece is real. Any updates on Zoms? If it, I'm not, I don't work for Zoms Incorporated. I wish, she's already live, look at that. There you go, enjoy your, your evening. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Eat some more cake, eat some more pie. Doesn't matter if it's boiled or fried. I'm malicious, mean, and scary. My sneer could curdle dairy. And violence-wise, my hands are not the cleanest. But despite my evil look and my temper and my hook, I've always yearned to be a concert pianist. Can't you see me on the stage performing Mozart? Twinkling the ivories till they gleam. Though I do like breaking femurs, you can kill me with the dreamers. Cause way down deep inside, I've got a dream. I've got a dream. He's got a dream. Okay.